Hey guys, what has my life turned into? All I see is rectums for faces and the air has turned into a green and brown gas. Am I still alive? But hey, on the bright side, all my inhibitions as well as 50% of my motor skills have vanished ever since I became an asshole. <laughs> but for real, if you too want to become a monumental orifice of waste disposal, otherwise known as a British tourist in Latvia, <coughs> I mean asshole, join me as I can provide you with a few cyanide pills. I mean tips. Okay, so which episode was this? What? Eight? There were seven before this already? The fuck am I doing with my life? Okay, well, let's start as usual with the simple and somewhat harmless ways to be a prick of the pile, the zit on a penis. This time, though, if you ever see a new player, a young and unspoiled mind, willing to grab onto any knob that would be helpful, you can provide that man tit for the baby to suck on. I mean, provide a great advice. Tell them that Hot Orbital offers one free anaconda for everyone. This joke is one of the oldest ones, and no doubt many a player have been tricked into spending about an hour of their playtime just enjoying the quality gameplay that only Elite Dangerous could provide and let the player stare at the blank Super Cruise screen. Robigo is still lucrative and so many players just go there to transport passengers around for that sweet, sweet cash. Now we are here of course to ruin that, as the true third burglars we are. For this you'll need two things, a fast ship and a manifest scanner. Now what you do is simple, be that open or private, doesn't matter. You sit outside of the station that people take these missions with illegal passengers from and just scan them with a manifest scanner. This will reveal an illegal's hold up for the trip and thus you have become the fucking police or better yet judge dread enforcing the law while still being a cunt i am the law Say, do you like PvP? Do you like killing people? Do you have friends or at least acquaintances who do PvP with you? Well, if not, you can always join some group or something. Anyways, when you're challenging someone to a fight, make sure to bring along with you the Kill Warrant Scanner. See, a lot of those psychopathic lifeless basement dicks, as forum dads call them, have no lives and thus they may carry some bounties on their ships. Now, if you were to, um use that scanner on them, it may bring some cops too. Sure, generally it's just an inconvenience to get scanned, but what more does a PvP disrespecting piece of fermented chicken shit like you needs, right? Okay, well let's say you are a bit more honorable than to use Kill Warrant Scanner in a PvP fight. Well, guess what, that Bushido is Bullshido! If you feel that you won't win in a sparring match or generally consensual PvP, there is always an I win button in your ship. It's called Report Crimes Against Me, and that turn on switch sure does look very, very tasty. Don't you just love it when your opponent baits you into flying closer to the station and then turning crimes on? So now the system cops and any other Sally, Bobby and Cunty can come after your dumbass. What an outstanding asshole move. Currently, a grand exploration expedition is underway called Distant Worlds 2. And you know what would be a fun thing to do? Being a capital diary exhaust. So get your traveling gear and ganking tools, look up the expedition's page and the meeting points and dates, and off you go. What could be easier than ganking a bunch of unsuspecting harmless frogs? It's like plowing through the tadpole pond with a steamroller. Just remember that timing and place is all that counts here. Speaking of Canadian pastimes, I mean seal clubbing, what about the poor, poor victims? Well, first off, you know what would be an even bigger asshole move? Making a game, then making beta for an update, having that update show massive server issues on launch, then proceed to port that build onto live game and continue having server issues on launch, and then also having the same server issues again for the third time when a bunch of weirdos decide to make a fun event in your game. Doesn't that sound incompetent? As if you didn't seem to give a fuck? Well, I sure can't think of any asshole right now that does that, but uh, I'll get back to you when I think of something. But there you have it, five elite related asshole tips for those butt babies, and one completely unrelated one that I honestly have no idea how got into the script, but oh well. So do pay heed to these tips, they will grow your ass face lookalike potential. If not, well hey, there are seven other videos to look at. 
that. So what the fuck are you waiting for? But seriously though, as always, all of these but the first one are tips you should not do ever. Unless you really, really like the smell of shit as you open your mouth to both ingest and, um, expel anything verbally. Still, if you two have some interesting ways to be a massive and unapologetic rampaging asshole in Elite, do share it down below and hey, sharing the video won't hurt you either. That aside, I'll be asking my ass to Asgard for now. <laughs> I just saw him just then. Damn it. Well, that's a great way to start uh, to be an asshole. Yep. <laughs>